Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University, and this is a video that's going to help you learn how to write the code that's called syntax for your SPSS, either data cleaning or data analysis. Syntax is going to allow you to basically, uh, by, by writing a small section of code, repeatedly apply that code and procedure to your data set and make for a more time efficient and potentially um, reduce the number of errors that you will have in completing your data cleaning or your data analysis. So syntax is definitely what I would consider um, advanced or next level, especially for users of SPSS who are much more familiar and able to figure out what they need to do by using the graphical interface. So I have a really complicated SPSS file up here and I want to show you a couple of ways that you can go about and and determine how you write the syntax. So the first is going to be um, taking a procedure that you constantly do um, and you just want to write it into the syntax file so that you, all you have to do is um, apply it and run it and then boom it's done 20 times instead of you having to go through analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and then pull over your variable 20 different times so it's really easy you you figure out what it is you want to do in this case I'm going to write uh, syntax to show you how to tell how many people I have in each of my treatment cells and so I went analyze descriptive um, statistics frequencies and uh, this particular um, dialog box popped up. I told it to bring cell over if I wanted to. If this were the type of variable that I could run a mean and a standard deviation on, um, I could go ahead and plug that in. I could do any of my normal mm -hmm. interface with the GUI here and plug it and, and, and set this up to do what I would normally want. Instead of pressing OK, which is what I normally do, I'm instead going to press the paste button. And then it is going to um, put it uh, in a, a brand new syntax file for me. So you see this is a brand new syntax file. Uh, syntax files are called, if I go to save as, they're called um, SPS files. Um, so in here I would just call this uh, testing syntax for experiment and then dot SPS and I could save it anywhere that I want to save it. I'll go ahead and save it on my desktop and then boom, perfect. Um, so now I have on here that it's going to do one on cell. So I could just go ahead, a second method is once I know what the syntax is, what that code is, I can repeat it. So instead of also doing cell, I wanted to do a variable that I call brand. Um, I wanted to do a variable that I call review. I wanted to do a variable that I call response. And so I can just take the root of this code, this procedure right here, frequencies variable, variables equals cell, and then order um, slash order equals analysis. And I can repeat that and then just change out for the variable name. This is the variable name that I want to do over and over. Um, so now I can highlight the whole thing and press the green button for go and it's going to run all these frequencies for me. So if I wanted to do uh, something like um, a mean and standard deviation, I can set that one up to um, analyze descriptive statistics frequencies and instead of cell I'm going to do um, one of my indices that I created. I'm going to do a mean and a standard deviation um, in here and instead of pressing OK again like I would normally do to put it in my output I'll just go ahead and press paste it's going to put it at the bottom you see right here I have a new one the bottom and now I have a new line in here ah statistics mean and standard deviation so I have two indices right actually in this variable in this data set I have that CC and then I also have one called CV so now I very quickly have coded it in to run these two means and standard deviations. So I can highlight just a section of my syntax and press play. 
And now I can tell you, ah, oh, here are my mean and my standard deviation. This one is for CV. So people have pretty low CV in this data set. And then this one is CC and people have even lower CC in this data set. Um, if I didn't want to turn on these boxes, because I really actually don't like boxes for means and standard deviations, again, I'm just um, defining this the way I want, press paste, go back into my syntax, and now I see, oh, I have a new line in here and it's format notable. So I'll just go ahead and, and paste that in there. And now when I run them, it's going to run them without the boxes of how many people were 3.67 or whatever the case. So this is um, a, another way that you can do syntax. And then the final way is you can actually go to the internet and Google, you know, what is the syntax code? What is the syntax for recoding? What is the syntax for running an ANOVA, et cetera? And then um, from that, you can apply the same logic to write your syntax in here. When you run syntax, you can either um, highlight the whole thing and run it, and it'll spit out a whole bunch of stuff. Or you can come in here and you can say, no, I just want you to do this one little guy, highlight one section of your syntax and press go. And then it'll just do that one little section for you rather than the whole thing. Um, so this is how you use syntax. It's really a lot easier than it may seem. And there are a lot of resources out there to help you with it. I probably, um, even though I just started using syntax on this large data set, I'm probably going to continue to um, go to my old fashioned version, but I definitely see the value of using syntax, especially with regard to large data sets, and when you're repeating the procedure over and over. So good luck with syntax. Um, you're not gonna break anything. Download a file fresh and start playing with it and see what happens. Good luck.